This is Tai Tam Bay, located in the southern district of Hong Kong Island. It is a prized area known for luxury properties such as the Red Hill Peninsula. But few people know that across the bay is another piece of luxury land, Tung A Pui Village. The area is an unleased and undeveloped piece of government land. It was designated as a coastal protection area in 2004. But for over 30 years, a former senior official and several wealthy businessmen have been allegedly occupying it, as Factwire has discovered. Residents have rebuilt and expanded squatter huts into eight villas with gardens and piers. Here, running water, electricity, and even internet access is available. This man, seen constructing a new pier, has been living in Tung A Pui village for over three decades. Factwire has confirmed that he is a former assistant commissioner for labor, Max Sai Yu. The 73-year-old former senior official refused to say if he is a registered squatter inhabitant. He also insisted that he did not expand his residence. However, government maps acquired by Factwire contradicts Max claims. According to this 1970 Lands Department map, Max's residence was still a pigsty. This is confirmed by an aerial photo from 1981 when Mac moved in. Merely one year after, a much larger house replaced it. But this is not the only change. Between 1993 and 2003, the coastline outside Mac's residence changed significantly. At least five new structures appeared on the map. At least one pier, a metal fence, a rock wall, and a barbecue platform. Mac claimed that officials visited the village regularly. He says that if he was breaking the law, he would have been in trouble long ago. The eight villas in Tung A Pui village cover 89,000 square feet of floor space and outdoor area. Across the bay, a single house in the Red Hill Peninsula is worth $34,000 per square foot. The village has not only attracted a former government official. The internationally renowned China Exploration and Research Society moved into the village in the 1990s, according to Mac. Its founder is photojournalist and explorer Wang Haoman, famous for discovering a new source of the Yangtze River. He was one of Time Magazine's Asian heroes in 2002. According to the Society's website, the organization has a research center in Tung A Pui village, including four buildings. Factwire discovered that the Society built several structures between 1999 and 2013. This includes a terrace, a glass conference room, a cage house for animals, and a pier. Many residents of Tung A Pui village own urban properties, Max Sai Yu, for instance, has owned several properties at Hang Fa Chun. Now he owns a $7 million flat in North Point. He listed his Tung A Pui residence as his address when he purchased the flat in 2009. Another resident of the village is businessman Chan Boon Q. This is a Facebook photo he posted two years ago, depicting a pier at his residence undergoing expansion. Chan is a major shareholder of multiple companies. Through these companies, Chan owns at least four properties in Sai Kung and Hong Kong Island. Factwire reporters approached another village resident, Thomas Lo Man Tuck, asking for a response. He refused to comment and claimed reporters had entered a private area. He then expelled our reporters from the village. In 1976 and 1982, the government documented the location, size, and use of all squatter huts in Hong Kong. This was to regulate squatters and help them move into public housing. However, according to on-site observations, only two houses now at Tung A Pui village were registered in 1976. According to the government squatter policy, any modification of a squatter hut must be approved by the Lands Department. Otherwise, the change would be illegal. The Lands Department refused to offer registration details of any squatters at Tung A Pui village. 
Factwire interviewed a Lance Department official who asked to remain anonymous. They criticized the department for not taking action against the residents of Tongapoi village for occupying government land. <laughs> Factwire has asked various government departments to respond to the case. The Lands Department responded 19 days after the inquiry was made, saying the buildings at Tongapui Village are all registered squatter structures, but certain registered structures are suspected of unsanctioned expansions. They also confirmed that some piers are located on government land, but could not determine whether they were public facilities. <laughs>